Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Harakakwadash. That's the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who the word ignorantly called God in Jesus Christ, whose correct and proper names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere Shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, unto the men, the servants, the prophets, that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine unto you, I say shalom. This is the resistance of the New World Order, which are, you know, this is the beginning of the resistance, all right, because Esau Edom, the so-called white man, has an agenda, a worldwide global agenda, the global reset, whatever you want to call it, okay, and there's going to be resistance, Okay, and, and you're viewing, a, uh, this is a, I'm going to play a video, um, and you're going to get a glimpse of this resistance, and this is all prophesied, all right, where they're, the Netherlands government is literally gunning down farmers, okay, because these farmers are opposed to the New World Order agenda, which they're disguising under some, um, I don't know, some act or something. I'm going to play this video right here, and, you know, they pretty much it, it explain the whole thing. All right, what's taking place over there in Netherlands and, you know, the agenda. They even they even speak on uh, the reset, all right, which we know as the New World Order. So I'm going to play this short video, and I'm going to bring out some precepts. And Lord willing, this is edifying to their leg because these same calamities that are taking place over there in Netherlands are going to happen here on America, all right? That's what people don't realize. You can you can, We can watch this from afar and think that, damn, that's fucked up, you know, what these people are going through. But eventually, that's going to take place here, all right? This is where you're going to have the most resistance here in America because eventually these people over here, they're, they, they don't have enough firepower. They don't, not, they don't have enough. Uh, um, they, 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 they're eventually going to be defeated, these farmers. They're going to fight, all right? Some of them may die, but they don't got enough, all right? Esau is going to get damn near very close to his new world order, and it's going to be a lot of bloodshed. All right, so let me play this video. It's about maybe a minute or two. Let me see. This under the guise of a made-up nitrogen crisis, and that is basically going to put most of these farmers completely out of nitrogen business. crisis. And that's thankfully, what they're calling the it. Dutch farmers nitrogen are emissions it. Cut. So they're going out on the streets. They're blocking distribution centers. They've blocked the high roads. They are fighting back. And they're right to do so. These, this is their life's work. They're really at their wit's end. They're devastated by what the government is doing. And, well, it's very clear that the government is not doing this because of a nitrogen crisis. They're doing this because they want these farmers' land, and they want it to house new immigrants. They also want it because the farmers are obviously standing in their way of the great reset plans that they have for us. The great reset plan, the New World Order. All right, they want. They said they want their they, their um their farmland. What do you think is going on here in America? All right, where everyone was worried about COVID and you know all these other you know bullshit that goes on here. Bill Gates purchased damn near you know uh, uh um I would say eighty percent ninety percent of the farmland in the uh, Midwest. He just purchased um a vast uh, part of the farmland in North Dakota. All right, so if the government owns all the farmland, therefore the the you know, and a lot of these farmers were paid off all right during during the pandemic, okay? It's not gonna be any 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 you know, they're gonna own all the farmland. So if someone wanted to you know, uh, um, produce food, that that's the only that's the one of the main um main food producing up, uh, you know, um places, you know, the so called heartland of America, where you have all these fields that, that you know, with, with livestock all of that shit is has been put to an end. A lot of long, um, also to mention the um, when they uh, euthanized a bunch of livestock. All right, uh, floods wiped out a lot of crops. All right, and eventually, you know, these things, you know, th these uh, these things happen over time. But eventually, the food is going to run out. Okay, so let me play uh, play the rest of this video. So yeah, farmers are hardworking, God-fearing, and especially self-sufficient people that are just standing in the way of their globalist agenda, and it's driving a lot of these farmers even. And they don't, they don't, they they speak on the globalist agenda uh, openly now. It's not a secret, okay? The 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 secret council of the wicked is not a secret anymore. It's being spoken spoken on on Fox News, 
all right, on whatever public, you know, whatever um, publications they have out there in, uh, in Netherlands or in Europe, all right? Everyone's waking up, okay? It's you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and Israelites scattered amongst the heathen nations that need to wake up and see this, all right? And not... And, and when I say wake up, yeah, you wake up and understand with this devil's agenda. You don't go out there and start trying to plant plant food or uh, uh, bear arms or, you know, prepare physically and, you know, and, you know, start taking gun classes and shit. No, I'm saying prepare your spirit. All right. So when these calamities come, all right, you, 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 you'll, you'll lean on the Lord. You'll have faith that the Lord will, will, um, will feed you, will provide for you in this, in these times, because it's some trying times that we're coming into. All right, where well, everyone's faith will be tried. All right, so let me finish playing this. Something like suicide. So yeah, really, there's only so one. Like, yeah, so I'm sorry, I'm keep stopping the t uh, the video, but you know, she spoke of suicide. A lot of these farmers are committing suicide, and a lot of farmers committed suicide during the pandemic. All right, that that's another that's another um uh uh um you know uh uh uh, uh something that you know these people are. are uh, dealing with or you know they're bugging out over all right they're, they're losing their farms you know they these people didn't have these farms they probably these farms were in their family for generations and now they're losing them okay because of this new world order agenda and and a lot of and a lot of these are edomites and they can't take it so they just you know they offer themselves all right so like i'm let it all play right now term that we can use for the things that our government under premier mark Rutte is doing right now and that is communism so messing with a food supply tends to cause food crises and then famines. You're seeing this in the developing world thanks to climate activism in the war in Ukraine. Are normal Dutch citizens who aren't farmers worried about what happens when you shut the farms down? Absolutely. They understand it. No farmers, no food. And that's why the farmers have blocked these distribution centers, because within a matter of a couple of hours, we saw that the supermarkets were empty. And ordinary citizens understand this. The problem is that the state doesn't seem to understand this, or it's what they want. And the police have responded in an incredibly violent way. So as you guys have seen now, they have even shot at a 16-year-old boy. These are not things that you should see in free Western countries, especially no. not targeted towards peaceful protesters. But it's happening. And not just the Dutch people, everyone around the world, and especially you in America, should be supporting our Dutch farmers because, well, this could be happening to you. It's actually it the very reason happen. why I'm wearing this, this handkerchief right now. It's become the symbol of these farmers' resistance, and they're doing it so courageously, and they have to manage and power to do it so they really deserve your full support we should be worried about the big things and the food supply is the biggest thing so th uh, we appreciate that explanation even for our blood thanks so much for joining us so they spoke of famine they spoke of these food shortages that all every, this is orchestrated but it's all orchestrated at the end of the day by yahweh by shimao shai though the heavenly father is orchestrating this famine and using esau edom all right the so-called white man to do it okay so and and, and eventually not just the farmers, but the people who have to go to the grocery stores and, you know, get this, you know, and, and buy food for their families, all right, take care of their families. They're going to join the fight with the farmers because it affects them also, all right? So that's the resistance. That's that. That's that's the beginning of this New World Order resistance. But, you know, eventually Esau's going to do what they do. <laughs> They're going to just start gunning people down like they did a lot of these farmers out here. A few of these farmers, not all of them, but... You know, it's going to get violent, all right? And the scriptures say that. But this is a part of this devil's agenda, okay? That to 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 um to bring the order, excuse me, to bring to bring the chaos, to bring the insurrection, to bring to bring the sedition. Thus, he's going to come with the order, all right? And the order at the end, the end game of this order is that MOTB, all right? That's what this all boils down to. You know, orchestrating the famines, the pestilence. All right, the uh, the the um, the chaos, the 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 um, the, um, the anarchy to bring that to bring that 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 uh, left hand uh, new world order agenda. All right, so um, let me hop into some scriptures because shit is getting real out there. But like I said, man, the the, the farmers the, they're not gonna win. They're not gonna win that fight because all Esau has to do is you know you know increase the firepower, increase the gunpowder, and, and and then people are gonna be laid out. Okay. So how much more you you jakes in America? All right, this is uh, the book of Revelation, chapter 12 and verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, 
because he knoweth that he have but a short time. That's what they, this is the part of that devil's great wrath. All right. Sending, uh, you know, eventually sending troops in there to take out these farmers to, you know, under the nitrogen act or whatever the hell they calling it, um, uh, uh, to, to take these farmlands, uh, uh, and, and, or could continue to orchestrate this, um, this famine. Okay. But it's going to be, it, it's definitely going to be people that's going to fight back. All right. Especially here in America. All right. A lot of these Edomites, they know what's up. They up on game on certain things and they're going to fight. All right. They're going to fight their government. They're going to fight their, lo their local, uh, their local government. All right. Their, 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 their cities, you know, and, you know, within their cities, they're going to fight. All right. And a lot of them to the death, but that's, it's prophesied. All right. But you Israelites, this is not your fight, all right? If you f up here fighting for democracy and all this shit, that's not our fight, okay? We, it's a spiritual fight within us, all right? Because with all these things going on, we still are going to have to depend on the Heavenly Father and His Son to deliver us, to guide us through, through His Spirit, all right? But let me grab this Isaiah 19 and 2. I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against ki kingdom. So eventually, this is not just going to be. It's going to. It's going to gradually go from a fight between the police and the farmers into the people and the police. And eventually, the police are going to join the fight with the people against the against the the, the government as a whole. Okay, so it, it's it's going to grow into a a, 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 it's a a larger fight amongst the people. All right, because it's going to like I said, you're going to have your resistance, and you're going to have your people that's just going to lay down and and, and take whatever the uh the government gives them and ultimately it's that MOTB. Okay, but like I said, you're gonna have your resistance and this is part of this is the beginning of that resistance. But this was spoken of by the prophets but and by the head prophet. Yahweh Shai spoke of this. This is um the book of uh, Matthew chapter twenty four. I'm gonna just go straight to the point, verse six. You shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. These are the beginning. All these are the beginning of sorrows. This is the beginning. All right, you think this this is going to go away over here in uh, Netherlands? It's not going to go away. All right, this is going to. This is something that's going to continue to progress uh, uh, into something larger. All right, and this is going to obviously affect uh, a lot of these other European countries also, not just the Netherlands. All right, uh, um, you know, Italy, Spain, Germany. OK, uh, you know, uh, uh, Sweden. All right. Uh, uh, the UK, all these European countries are going to take are going to be affected in America also. All right. Like I, like I stated, America is going to be affected greatly because this place is so dependent on, um, not, not, you know, none of these people are self-sufficient here. All right. They don't know how to grow their own food. A lot of these people don't know how to hunt. All right. They, you know, they don't even know how to clean fish. So. They're just used to going to the supermarkets, grabbing what they need, going to Costco, Sam Club, grabbing what they need, and, and you know, going home and cooking it. Okay, so once these grocery stores begin to take a hit, all right, once these grocery stores, um, excuse me, these farms could uh, begin to not push out any food to these, to these, uh, to these um, food processing plants, all right. And another thing is, food processing plants have been um, somehow, some way. Uh, 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 um, burned down or, or, you know, caught on fire somehow or, or basically it's being destroyed. Okay. This, that's part, all part of that orchestrated famine that, that we see taking place. Okay. Um, so when these calamities happen, you, you know, you've been warned, all right. Especially you Israelites, you've been warned of these things. All right. Uh, of these, of these prophecies. He said, this is a uh, second Ezra chapter nine and one. He answered me then, and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself, when thou seest part of the signs past, which I told thee before. Then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right, so these are those signs, these are those tokens that the Heavenly Father would give us when he's about to make his return. Like the scripture says, no man knoweth uh, that when the, uh, when, you, when the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, was going to send his son, Yahweh Shai, back, but he said he would give us signs. He would say he would give us uh, these prophecies to give us warning of the times of, of of the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai, verse three. Where, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and this is clearly an uproar of the people. These people, these, just just specifically the farmers now, are in uproar. All right, of, of the conditions of the time of, of the things that are going on. All right, they 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 
they're and they they're fighting back. A brother from uh, I can't think of the brother's name. Um, um, that was Don. I think the brother's from Chicago. He did a lesson, a quick lesson uh, this week, showing how this in the same you know uh, referring to the same situation where the farmers went out and got a tank, all right, to fight against the police. Okay, that that, that that's where it's that's that's the level where it's at right right where it's at right now over there in um in the Netherlands. All right, with these Dutch farmers fight fight fighting back. Okay, but like I said, you know, hey, that's a, a valiant effort, but they're not going to win cuz Esau at the end of the day has more has more firepower. All right. Um this is second Ezra chapter 6 and I'm going to hit uh verse 20 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. And those main storehouses that are going to be found empty are these grocery stores, all right? Because if the farmers can't produce the food, all right, they, they can't, you know, uh, they're not bringing in any crops because they're busy fighting off the damn police, all right? Eventually, it's a chain reaction we, uh, that's going to take place. The the um, the foods won't get to the processing plants, and the processing plants won't ship them to the, to the stores. So the the, the, the store, full storehouses, these full grocery stores, your Albertsons, your Vons, all right, uh, um, um, you know, are going to be empty. Okay, they, they you know, they, they, they're going to be empty. They're not going to have any food. All right, eventually. All right, they're going to have, you know, um, you know, for for a while they'll have food, and but it won't come in as 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 it usually comes in. Maybe once every once a week, which is hey, that's a famine in itself because these grocery stores, or at least these 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 cities, all right, they can't survive off. You know, they could. I won't say. I won't put it like that, but. Once the food stops coming in, all right, the price of these foods are going to go up, all right, and everyone won't be able to afford these foods, but they're not going to be coming in every three days, every two days, these trucks, all right, they may, may be coming in every week, so it's going to be a rush to get the food, therefore, you're going to have, you're going to have to have the military, all right, uh, uh, National Guards in front of these grocery stores, all right, um, restoring order somewhat. All right, but eventually people are going to, hey, they're not going to care. Like the scripture says, I'm going I'm going to get that in 2 Ezra 15. They're not going to regard their kings or their princes. All right, they're not going to regard the mandates or uh, um, or, or curfews or, or you know, people are going to get tired of standing in line waiting on food. So, hey, eventually people are going to just rush the stores. And, and, and eventually it's going to shut those stores down. All right, so let me get back to the scripture. And the, uh, verse 23, and the trumpet shall be given, then the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall suddenly, they shall be suddenly afraid. And at that time, friends shall fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. And the springs of the fountains shall stand still, and for three hours they shall not run. Just so said, the point I want to make is friends shall fight against, friend, uh, uh, friends shall fight one against another like enemies. And don't you think that some of these farmers um, were once friends, maybe grew up with some of these police that are, 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 are at their neck right now? All right, so it's going to be, the scriptures say in that same chapter I was reading, uh, Matthew 24, the love of many shall wax cold. So ain't nobody going to give a shit about friends in that day. All right, everyone's going to be worried about them and theirs, how how, how they can get food for their families. All right, that, that's where we at with this. All right, and you're seeing a glimpse of the future over here in, um, over here in the Netherlands. All right, let me um, jump up to uh, 2nd Ezra 15. Let me go straight to the point. Um, I actually want to start at verse 15. I'll start at 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw off nine. One people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands. That's what you're seeing. Okay? The police are, 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 are shooting at them, are, you know, gunning down farmers. So what do you think the farmers are eventually going to do? Like I told you, the brother put up a lesson that said they got a tank. So if they got a tank, they damn sure got, got AKs and ARs or, or you know, Handguns or whatever, so they're gonna fight back. And the modern day sword is the gun. Okay, um, verse uh, sixteen: For they shall be sedition among men and invading one another, and they shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Like, like I said, people are gonna take matters into their own hands. What do you think these farmers are doing? They didn't get any um, approval from the government to go get a tank or, or go get guns or. Uh, uh, um, organize these um, organize these protests and they, they didn't get no they didn't they didn't get no um like I said uh, 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 um, the okay from the um you know from from their their government officials they just went out and did it they not they not at the, at the, these people are not waiting for Esau's approval for anymore all right like I said this this is the resistance this is the new world order resistance 
that that is that that that, that that's going to take place. Okay, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. All right, just complete calamity. All right, the city shall be troubled. They're going to shut these cities off when these type of things start to begin to happen. Especially here in America, they're going to shut off these states. All right, you won't be able to leave your, your your respective state. All right, you won't be able to leave your city. Okay, did that? Hey, and, and if you try to, hey, you're more than likely going to get gunned down. All right, they're going to have curfews in place where you won't be able to leave your homes. All right, hey, and, and at the end of the day, shit, during these times, you're not going to want to leave your home because it ain't going to be safe out there. All right, you you leave your home, you may not come back. There's a great good a good possibility that you won't return to your home in these days, whether you're going out to look for food, whether you're going out to look for medical supplies, whatever it may be. If you leave your home when it's martial law and, and it's just, you know, the streets is crazy, you probably won't going to, you're probably not going to make it back home. All right. And that, that's, that's real shit. Um, let me see. Let me jump over to verse, uh, chapter 16 of the verse in there. I want to get, uh, that speaks of the famine. That speaks of the field. This is, uh, Second Ezra 16 and verse 32. And the earth shall be laid waste, and the fields thereof shall wax old. Okay, ain't nobody going to be tilling these fields. Once these Edomites, once these police get these farmers out the way, all right, the, you know, ain't nobody going to till those fields. You know, it's going to, uh, what the scripture going to say, the, the fields are going to wax old, all right? Ain't no one going to water them, all right? So all the food is going to just, just rot and be destroyed, all right? And her ways and her paths shall grow full of thorns, because no man shall travel there, there, there through. All right, so you see that it's an orchestrated famine that's taking place. All right, because at the same time, once there's um, no fields will be tilled, the fields is all uh, uh, barren of fruit. Esau has laboratories, have you know these big factories where they're producing food. All right, it, it's not it's not natural food. But that's what they're going to be trying to push on the people. That's what they're pushing on the people now. All right. Impossible burgers and shit like that. Okay. Where, where you know, the, these foods that they make in the, in the laboratory. That's all a part of this New World Order too. All right. Where you don't need any, you don't need any go to, you don't need farmers to till fields and you don't you have to wait for, you know, fresh produce. We can make it in the laboratory. <laughs> all right. That, that's a part of that image, image of the beast. All right. You know, you, what they, what do they say? Uh, you will own nothing. And, and, and you'll love it, all right. That that that's 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 a part of um, this man's this wicked this man's wicked left hand agenda, all right. Um, I want to jump down. Let me see. I'm gonna jump down to 41. He that selleth, let him be as he have he that fleeth away, and he that buyeth as one that will lose. So you know this goes into your grocery stores that you know that 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 you know or markets that sell these you know. Uh, not just food, but all types of goods. He that occupies merchandise as he have no profit by it, and he that build it is that as he, he that shall not dwell therein. All right, so like I said, that, that goes into the merchandise. A lot of these places that, you know, um, um, that, that have merchandise, they're not going to make a profit by it because the dollar's steadily dropping. People ain't going to have no money to buy anything but food or gas, all right, or basic necessities so they're not going to make a profit by it okay but like i said all these things boil down to what the new world order all right esau's doing all of this for their end game okay which is the uh the new world order agenda okay all this all this shit that's going on this is their end game right here this is uh revelations 13 and i'm gonna start at verse 15 and it was uh I started. No, uh, let me see. Let me see. I'm gonna go down. Y'all yeah, start at uh. I started fifteen, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. The image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And what's that image of the beast? Democracy, LGBTQ plus or whatever. Okay, a uh, uh, one world government, one world currency, one world medicine. All right, where these these devils will determine, you know, what your, uh, you know, what, you know, uh, 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 what what to give you to cure this or to cure that. Okay, 
um, it, you know, that's this this whole global this wicked global structure that that they're that they're uh, they're building right now. Okay, verse sixteen, and he calleth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their hand or in their foreheads, that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So without this digital karagma, you uh, excuse me, digital karagma, digital all di uh, in this karagma. Um, you won't be able to buy or sell, okay? You won't be able to do anything, all right? And the main thing that you, we need to buy in the society to, to maintain is food, all right? You know, and, and what are they doing to the food right now? They're destroying the food, okay? So e Esau knows how to um, dismantle a society, all right? Dismantle a, a people, make a people in disarray by cutting off their food supply, all right? Well, hey, all this, all the bullshit and distractions go out the window when you don't got no food. All right. And, and not just Israelites. All right. Where we're at the bottom where, you know, it's going to be harder on us. Edomites. All right. This shit is this, this is taking a toll on Edomites right now. OK. Also, OK, where where they're not they're not able to get, the, you know, they're paying high prices for gas. All right. They're paying high, higher prices for food. All right. And it, it's, it's affecting their pockets, too, just like it is ours. All right. So, um, hey, this is this is where we at with it, man. You know, hey, the farmers are being gunned down in the Netherlands. Uh, um, you got, the you know, the, the, the resistance from the people, you know, um, you know, for, for the, you know, for the beginning stages of Esau, you know, coming with the, the great wrath of this new world order. And it's only going to get worse. As the scripture says, how should I say, you know, these are the beginning. Uh, uh, these are the beginning of sorrows. So I, I look forward to a lot more calamities uh, uh, worldwide and mainly here in america all right so lord willing this lesson was edifying unto the elect and i want to give all praise glory and honor unto you how about shim you have a shy about hashem until next time i say shalom